Hey, I'm Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Challenge Rivals 2 recap. I am wearing purple, honoring the team that was sent home this week. And now this week we have two teams um, sent home. But I just felt purple team was more devastating elimination. We are we are in the final jungle and we are about to get into the final challenge so the challenge episode starts with them in the jungle because last week we did not get anybody eliminated so we are in the jungle and it's Diam and Anissa versus Camilla and Jimmy and it's about to get on and honestly I really want Diam and Anissa to win why because they're like true vets and they have never won a challenge I want to see Anissa in the final why because it she's in way better shape and they're gonna deserve it so Camilla we've already seen her in a, in the final and I honestly was surprised how well she did and Jimmy I really wanted to see her in the final but last week's performance was just crappy and I was like okay maybe she needs more time so I wasn't that excited to see them in the final so we start off the challenge and you've already seen the um, jungle and it is hanging by a thread so they're hanging upside down and they have to cut um, two ropes with it, this little ass saw and as soon as they start DM is freaking out and I'm like DM get your head together because you and Anissa are way taller than these two little girls and those two little girls have already got the rope and they have already started cutting the rope and you guys are like barely going upside down and you're freaking out and I think that was a downfall for DM. Anissa kind of was freaking out too because DM was freaking out and I don't want to go home it was just too much pressure and then I don't know how the hell these two little short girls Jimmy and Camilla grabbed the freaking rope so I don't know how they're freaking cutting the rope but they get and they cut the first rope and at this point Anissa finally got the hang of it and now it's cutting the rope and just like that the Jimmy and Camilla cut the other rope and DM and Anissa's journeys come to an end and I was really really sad Jimmy and Camilla won in fair and square I still have doubts about Jimmy in the final I still have doubts about her as a competitor but as of right now she has proven herself so good job Jimmy and Camilla and it was just sad seeing Anissa crying so now we have all the six teams officially in the final CT and Wes Jordan and Martin and Frank and Johnny and the girls Cook and Carl Maria, Emily and Paula and Camilla and Jimmy. CT and DM there's still something there and she for, kind of forgets him for not going for with what she wanted to. Um, I don't want to be easy or nothing but I think they really have something they understand each other and they're gonna have something there forever. Now TJ never says this and he's like it's getting kind of hot in Thailand and they're like yes and 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 just he just leaves it like that he's like see you in the final challenge so they get back to the house and now Emily is scared I liked how she's like people think Paula and I are this super mega team and that cannot be beat and that is not the case why because Emily knows she is not she's just not a runner she can do other stuff but she is not a runner and we've seen that in cutthroat she was third in cutthroat with Jane last time in battle of the exes she was third in the finals and Paula in the other hand is really feeling really good because she knows she's a long distance runner she's been in many finals Car Maria is preparing for the final swimming and they finally get the text I was like where they're going I bet they're going somewhere like around there like Cambodia Indonesia India I don't know and the text message is they're going to Tokyo and I was just like what I was freaking excited they were going to Tokyo I'm like Tokyo in the city this is gonna be so freaking amazing this is just gonna be the best final ever and now the people are freaking out because Wes and CT were prepared for being in Thailand they were prepared for this and Honestly, Wes, you gotta be prepared for anything the challenge throws at you. You know this better. You're a vet. You have won this. 
you better be prepared for anything just don't whine about it now Paula is now being scared because if it's a navigation thing there's in they're gonna be in Tokyo Japanese and they're gonna be in the streets and she is just mad she is just freaking out and I'm like are you serious Paula CT feels like he is one of the best players that has ever been in the challenge and he is he is right but he has never won nothing he just feels like a champion without his reward without his championship I enjoy how Johnny is now like praising the rookies because that he knows that the rookies are a great team and they are a really balanced team and two they have what it takes to win a challenge and I think in the near future, if we ever see Jordan and Johnny again, I really think he's going to bring Jordan into his little group with Kenny and Evan. So now it is time to go to Tokyo and I'm very excited because they're going to Tokyo and they get into the bus, right? And they get to the bus and uh, they're happy and they're like, we're going to Tokyo and a van well the bus starts um going and then a van comes and like in front of the bus and this like kind of ninjas dressed all in black and this is like scary as shit like they're in thailand you don't know what kind of people there are in thailand and they i mean this is just scary because people dressed in black you cannot even see their faces are coming in the van and they are freaking out. I wouldn't been like I would have shit in my pants in that moment. Like seriously, Car Maria is actually like freaking the most out of anybody. She thinks she's gonna get kidnapped, and I I totally understand her because I'm like you're in a foreign country, and what the hell? Like my life is on the line. And then I'm like, guys, don't worry. It's just Anastasia, Trey, and Teresa playing the prank the ninja prank again i'm like ah guys don't worry but no and then comes out tj and i'm like okay tj is there this is safe he is like we have a change of plans and they start wrapping them up and putting like stuff in their head so they don't see and they're like um putting handcuffs or i don't know what the hell they're putting in their hands so basically they cannot see, they cannot move, and they're putting them in two separate vans, one for the guys, one for the girls. I really thought this was gonna be, um, they were gonna catch him, and they were gonna blindfold them, and they were just gonna get separated and end up in Tokyo. But no, and then TJ's like, there was a change of plans, and you guys are not going to Tokyo. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? Are you? They're not going to Tokyo, they're gonna stay in Tokyo. So now they get to this little kind of port and Marlon and Car Maria are like shitting in their pants being like, oh no, we are going to have to swim. So now TJ explains the whole little thing. They're going to win this money, la 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 la. So we get to the good stuff where the challenge is they're going to be dropped off in the middle of the ocean, like a mile away from the beach and they have to swim to the beach do a puzzle get a key after they're done with the puzzle unlock a kayak and go to a yacht and I'm thinking this the past preview the previous challenges they're in two days and I bet like the two teams that get to the job first are gonna be sleeping there and the other team is just gonna be left in the beach oh no TJ is like no the the, la the team that does not make it to the yacht is eliminated and I'm like are you serious this is so unfair they start so the girls run they jump off first and Car Maria is just freaking drowning she is drowning and Cook is like oh Jesus Christ but Cook never left her alone she was like you do it girl you can do it Car Maria and she pushed her now Paul and, and and Emily get to the sh to the beach first and they're ready and they're doing their puzzles. Then comes Jimmy and Camilla and they start doing their puzzles. And finally, Maria and Cook, the guys jump off and all of the guys are swimming. And Marlon is trying to do his best. 
but uh, he's just not fast enough. The uh, like the West and CT they killed it. They are the first guys in the beach and they start doing their puzzles. Then comes Johnny and Frank and they start doing their puzzles. Jordan has been there for a long time and he's just waiting for his partner and he cannot start doing the puzzle if he's not with his partner. Finally, Marlon comes out to the beach and they start doing the puzzles. Johnny's like, well, I kind of play Tetris. A long time ago, I think I can do this. They had no freaking idea what the fuck they were gonna do. Finally, CT and Wes actually finished their puzzle. And I'm like, whoa. And they're off in their kayak and they're the first ones in the yacht. So one spot left for the guys and whoever's in third is eliminated. But now... All of a sudden, Cook and Carl Maria get their puzzle right. And I was just so happy. I was freaking jumping. I, I'm I seriously was happy. Now, watching them finish the puzzle and going through the yard. And I like how CT and Carl Maria, they have this little alliance. And I enjoy CT talking good about Carl Maria and Cook. And he's just happy. And he thinks he this they deserve to be there and I also think so so yes those three are kind of my favorites right now CT, Carmory and Cook with Jordan and Mark so now Emily and Paula finish their puzzle and they go off and Car then Jimmy and Camilla are just eliminated like that it's really hard to see it's really hard to see Jimmy and Camilla just left there because they really fought to get to the final so at this point, they're officially done. They're in third place. They get some money, but they are not called the winners. Now it's just up to Johnny and Frank versus Jordan and Martin to finish this. And since the time is almost over, Jordan is like, they're going to have a little more time to get to their kayak because they came to the puzzle first. So they're kind of thinking, you go do this and I'm going to go do this and we're just going to paddle away to the yacht. And at this point, I'm like, Jesus Christ, how the fuck are they going to catch up? Johnny and Frank's time finish up. They, they, they get their key, they unlock their kayak, and they're off. And now, it's time for Jordan and Marlin. And Jordan and Marlin go. And it, they're actually really close to each other. And the people in the yacht are looking. I mean, the teams in the yacht who already made it are looking. And they need to hurry the fuck because I do not want to see Johnny and Frank in that final. And then all of a sudden, Johnny and Frank's Kaya, they just flip and I'm like, are you serious? Like, this is the time to just go, Jordan, go bam, 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 bam. And that's when it stopped and it said to be continued. I cannot freaking wait. Oh, this is just getting so exciting. I am rooting for CT. And Wes, actually, I did not, um, I enjoyed Wes in this, this season. Cook and Car Maria right now are my team. Like, they better win. If they don't win, I'm seriously gonna die. Like, if they don't win, I'm gonna die. And if CT, if, if Johnny and Frick win, I'm gonna seriously die too. So Jordan and Marlin better get their ass on that freaking yacht. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later, alligators. See you next week. I'm very excited. Bye-bye.